First tonight at 6, a Marion County judge declares a mistrial in a high-profile case against a man accused of murdering a pastor's wife in 2015. Larry Joe Taylor Jr. is facing several charges, including murder, robbery, and criminal confinement in the death of Amanda Blackburn. But again, a mistrial declared in that case today. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Zach Myers. Fanchin is off tonight. Taylor is one of three men who were charged in this case and the only one who was not given a plea deal. Fox 59's Courtney Crown is live in the newsroom now. Courtney, it's been years since this happened. Why is this happening today? Well, Zach, the jury found out Amanda was pregnant when she was murdered. The judge declared a mistrial over concerns this fact would taint the jury's decisions. Amanda Blackburn's family's wait for justice continues tonight after a judge declared a mistrial. This just being a mistrial indicates nobody did anything wrong. Um, it, it was just a set of facts that came up and they determined that they could no longer go to the jury and get a fair outcome. The case against Taylor dates back to November 10th, 2015. Blackburn was critically injured in a home invasion shooting that morning at her and her family's home on Sunnyfield Court. Amanda shared the home with her husband, Pastor Davey Blackburn, and their young son. Amanda was 12 weeks pregnant with their second child. Taylor is not facing charges in the death of the unborn baby, which is why the judge declared a mistrial when the jury found out about the pregnancy. Criminal defense attorney John Tompkins says the jury can realize they know more about different cases after jury selection. So during jury selection, they didn't put two and two together, and then when they started hearing the facts, it stirred something in their memory, and they realized that they had a bias they didn't realize in the beginning. The other two defendants in this case, Jalen Watson and Deano Gordon, accepted a plea deal and agreed to help prosecutors with the case against Taylor. Officials tell me we should find out more information later this week about when jury selection begins again. In following news of the mistrial, the family met with the judge but did not want to make any comments. And Courtney, did the judge say why this case has taken so long to go to trial in the first place? Well, Zach, a juror asked about that today, and Judge Hawkins cited the pandemic, a series of attorneys over the years, and the fact that the case started with 100 witnesses. Courtney Crown reporting for us tonight. Courtney, thanks so much.